So when these breeds disappear, we don't just lose animals, we lose food security, we lose genetic diversity, and we lose a piece of our culture. Did you know that some of America's oldest cattle are living DNA banks? Heritage cattle aren't just history, they're our genetic insurance. So what does this all mean? Here's the alarming truth. Our heritage breeds carry genes that could protect our future food supply. Welcome back, my friend. I want you to imagine standing in a pasture surrounded by cattle that once shaped the very foundation of American farming. Strong, resilient, and deeply tied to our history. But here's the heartbreaking part. Many of these breeds are disappearing. Right now, in 2025, we're losing living links to our agricultural past faster than most people realize. Let's start with the Randall Lineback. This New England breed was once common on small family farms. In 2024, it was already hanging on by a thread. And this year, numbers remain critically low. So low that without dedicated breeders, the Randall could vanish within a generation. Now take the Piney Woods cattle. They've roamed the South for centuries tough as nails, able to thrive on poor forage where modern cattle wouldn't survive. They're not just cattle, they're survivors. Yet today, they're still considered threatened. The fact that they've survived this long is a miracle, but a miracle that needs help to continue. Then we have the Milking Devon. If you've ever dreamed of a cow that could pull a plow, provide milk, and still raise a calf, this was the original all-purpose farm cow. In 2024, they were already in danger. In 2025, not much has changed. And honestly, that's what scares me. We're not moving forward, we're stuck. And here's something new for 2025. Dutch belted cattle have officially slipped further into endangered status. These striking black cows with a white belt around their middle were once a symbol of pride on American farms. Today, their numbers are shockingly low. It's a wake-up call. So why should this matter to you? Well, let's step back and look at the bigger picture. When we compare 2024 to 2025, what we're seeing is not a sudden collapse, but a slow decline. And in some cases, a total lack of progress. For the Randall lineback, milking Devon and Dutch belted, the numbers are either falling or standing still. For Piney Woods, survival hangs by a thread of dedication from only a handful of breeders. So why does this matter? Because genetic diversity in cattle is more than just history. It's insurance for the future. In a world facing climate change, disease, and shifting food systems, these hardy breeds may hold traits that modern cattle simply don't have anymore. Losing them means losing options we may desperately need down the road. So when these breeds disappear, we don't just lose animals, we lose food security, we lose genetic diversity, and we lose a piece of our culture. My friend, thank you for spending this time with me exploring the world of endangered heritage cattle. Thanks to people like you, many of our heritage livestock have been brought back from the brink of extinction because you cared enough to want to make a difference. Please like and share this video to help get the word out to others who might not know about our looming heritage livestock crisis. And if you're interested in learning about other endangered heritage animals, you can check out the playlist link right here or in the description below.